Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if it's hard to face. We all want a positive outcome, and we don't always get what we want. However, what you'll find here may be disturbing. The truth you uncover. Do you want the truth? If you're sure, then continue. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that has not been naturally accessed to. Call it natural intuition. A sixth sense, if you will. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply the nature taking its course. This is the human brain working as a de defensive mechanism. While attempting to answer many of the questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, and relax. Enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions. Provided that you are a willing participant, and we will be unlocking some spiritual information today. Most likely information that you regret learning. Ready, set, go! Are you afraid of the dark? Yes. Wait, before, before we get too far into this. Hi, hello, welcome to... Fuck, I forgot the name of the game, guys. Hold on. Welcome to the horoscope, which I'm assuming means that this will be scary. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Um, if you remember, I did a couple of these uh, quizzes all by the same editor. Editor. Developer. Whoops. Um, the last one I did, uh, I became a turtle condom. Yeah, that's a thing. If you want to find out how that happened, uh, click on that or go look it up. <laughs> uh, anyways, yes, that was a thing. Anyways, I love these guys. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a horoscope and see what's going to happen. Hopefully we'll have some spooks since it's supposed to be the horoscope. I don't know. Anyways, let's get into this. Would you consider this supposed to be a lawyer? No. Yes. Do you ever feel alone, even in a crowd? Yes. If you know the date of your best friend's death, would you tell him? No. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Are you uncomfortable in deep ocean water? Ye not really, actually. I, uh, not scuba dive. I, um, what's the other one? Not scuba dive. Uh, snorkeling. I do snorkeling. Um, and that's pretty far out. I've never really, no, not, not really. I don't, <laughs> if you give up your friends, become rich and famous, would you? No. Y'all know me. Family first, which means it comes for every other little shit that happens. If you looked into a crystal ball and saw that the love of your life was going to hurt you badly, would you leave them? If you looked into a crystal ball and saw that the love of your life was going to hurt you badly, would you leave them? Hurt me how? See, this is one of the circumstances you were talking about, because, like, if it's a physical hurt, hell fucking yeah, I would leave them. If it was, like, an emotional hurt, well, even then, like, if it's cheating, fucking yeah, I'd leave. Yes, yes. Would I leave them? Well, I'd let it happen first. They hurt me badly, and then I would leave. So, yes, I would leave them. Would you consider yourself to be courageous? Uh, no. No, 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 <laughs> I would not. Would you consider to be a shallow person? No, uh, no. Do you fear the unknown? No. Yes, no. I am hesitant with the unknown. No, I'm going with, no. I'm going with my first reaction. Does answering a ring phone give you sight? Yes. <laughs> Work would it be to re be a reception? And I'm like, no. <laughs> if you found a suitcase full of money, would you keep it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yes. <laughs> Does the name John mean anything to you? I mean, it's my uncle's name, so yes. Would you consider yourself to be a manic? Manic? What the hell is that? Does that mean like I'm crazy or something? Hold on. I want to answer your question honestly and truthfully, and I don't know what this word is. Manic. Uh, 
da, 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 da. What is the meaning? I don't want behavior. I want meaning. They too affected by uh, showing wild, apparently deranged excitement or energy. Uh, no. No, that does not me in any way, shape, or form. I am very laid back. Do you get bored easily? No. Not really. I'm pretty good about entertaining myself, and I do do things. No. Do you ever take dangerous and unnecessary risk? Uh, no. Would you consider yourself to be a thrill seeker? <sighs> good question, actually, because I do want to do thrill seeking things things you know I haven't done it so like if I had an opportunity to go like zip lining or have you ever seen those bridge bridges they're like almost like on the mountaintops they're going along and it's just like a long ass like I would do that because that seems really cool so I guess yes <laughs> when you die will you be s s cre cremated yes burn my body absolutely burn me until I have nothing but ash did you ever kill an animal under any circumstances? Well, yeah, like if the zombie apocalypse happened and I need food, I would then. So, yes, there are circumstances where I would kill an animal. <laughs> would you consider yourself to be romantic? Yes, though I have no one to share it with. Are you a jealous person? Uh, see, is envy the same as jealous? I get envious of other persons. Is that the same? You all tell me down below. Would you consider yourself to be an em empathic person? <sighs> I mean, no, no, no. Do you like animals more than people? Yes. <laughs> Are you a virgin? Yes. Why do you need to know that horoscope? This is all very interesting. I'm so glad. Is it interesting to you guys? This is how you know me is by going through these questions. Do you love your mother? Yes. Do you love your father? Yes. Are you gonna make me choose in between the two? Do you enjoy taking long, relaxing walks? I do, especially if they're in the country and not in this stupid ass city. It's Halloween, one of your favorite holidays. Yes, it is. Do you believe in a higher power of any kind? No, I do not. If Satan were watching your every move and you knew it, would you feel uncomfortable? I hope he enjoys the show. <laughs> Did you participate in any form of drug activity? I do not. I mean, I do medicine, but I'm assuming he means like drug drugs. Do you drink alcohol? I do. Do you have any sexual thing? Why? Horror? This isn't the sexual test. I did take that. That's where the turtle condom came into. But <laughs> I'm hoping if I say that enough time, you guys will A, like the video, two, subscribe, and three, go watch that other video because I don't think anyone watched it and it was fucking hilarious. I think I've never seen it. I think my face went very red. It was super funny. Um, do you have any sexual fantasies or fetishes or fantasies that you would be considered bizarre or uncommon? You know, as a virgin, this is kind of hard to answer because I've never talked to anyone about it. Oh, let's see. Um, I mean, from the, <laughs> from the fan fics I read, no, but I'm sure bizarre or uncommon. No, I'm gonna go with no, I don't think so. Very interesting. Do you thrive under pressure? I mean, I can, if it's something I know what I'm doing. Yeah, sure. If it could end the world with a push of a button, would you do it? Oh, some days I totally would do it, I would just Fuck everyone. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> Do you sometimes hope for the coming? Yes. Honestly, I think this world needs a good friggin' shakeup. Have I ever killed an animal? I mean, I've killed bugs, so I guess, yes. They count as animals. Do you, if you had to resort to cannibalism to survive, would you be able to do it? To survive? Yes. I feel like that is something I could do. Do you like guns? I mean, I like them in games. 
like the assault rifles and stuff. But I've never dealt with any in like the real world. I guess, yeah. Do you like knives? Yes, I do. I have several pocket knives that I have around me. Do you like blunt objects that such hammers are bad? No, not really. <laughs> do you believe in aliens? Yes, I do. The theory, theory, if you had an opportunity to go to space on an alien vessel, would you go? Uh, if it was like a short trip or like if my family came with me, yes. If you could leave Earth and go to space and never return again, would you leave? It, once again, if my family was with me, yes. <laughs> Do you know that over 20% of koala bears have... Ship? I don't even know what that word is. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I want to answer this honestly and truthfully. That was one of the instructions, so you're all just going to have to hold on, okay? C-H-L-A-M-Y-D-A. -A. Meaning, what is this? Uh, to spread through it's a uh, sexual transmitted infection so no that is not something I knew that koala bears had thank you for that <laughs> information I guess that one really wasn't relevant I just thought it was interesting I do too thank you for sharing <laughs> are you alone right now uh, I mean I have my cat and Zona's over there so no do you get starstruck easily? No. Have you ever said a prayer? No. Do you believe in magic? Yes! Do you believe in angels? Not really. I mean, they're a nice thought, but no. Do you believe in demons? I believe in inner demons. But I don't believe in like demons, demons. Like, no. If you know you could summon a demon, would you do it? If it was something I could control, why the hell not? Speaking of demons, have you ever played other games released by. Yes. Yes, I have. Good for you. This is why you're my favorite. I have. If you. I, I think they're under the Rumble uh, playlist. I believe with all of them, once again, if you want to go see why I ended up as a turtle condom, then <laughs> please go watch that video. There's other ones on there, but that's the only one I remember what the result was for. All right, now that the shameless plug is over, let us continue. Good on you. If you could travel back in time, would you? Uh, yes. And for my shameless plug, subscribe, like, subscribe. <laughs> Guys, oh man, could you imagine how sick it would be if we got to a thousand subscribers? by the end of this year, that'd be so freaking cool. Subscribe, do it, I'm so close. I'm at, as this recording, I'm at 896. It would be so cool if I could get to a thousand. I've worked so hard on it and it's something I never believe I could do. And it's been like five, six years since I started my channel and only now is it kind of like taken off, which is fine because I enjoy the hell out of doing this. I, I wasn't never doing it. I mean like, I wanted to do it to get a big audience, but it wasn't really like my main goal. I was just like, man, could you imagine all the shit I could do if I had an audience like, oh. Do you like horror movies? No! <laughs> would you consider yourself to be evil? No! Would you consider would you consider anyone to be evil? Yes! 1% of the population are psychopaths, which means they're out of 100 people that you've encountered in your life, you've met at least one, because chances are you spoke to a few of them on a daily basis. Did you know that? No. Do you think that you could potentially be a psychopath? No. Is it better to kill than to be killed? Do you agree? Yes, if someone's trying to kill me, I will kill them first. Do you think that stealing from big corporation is acceptable? <laughs> kinda. They're kinda assholes. I mean... <sighs> I'd rather you steal from big corporations than like little ma and pa shops, you know? So yeah, go ahead. Are you afraid of anyone in your life? No, I am not. Do you enjoy gambling? Not particularly. Are you afraid of spiders? Not particularly. Do you believe in legendary monsters? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Do you believe in vampires? <sighs> I mean, I believe there's people out there that drink blood because they think they're the vampires, but not particularly, no. But I do believe in Bigfoot, okay? Are y'all keeping track? I believe in Bigfoot. I do not believe in vampires. Do you believe in... Once again, I don't know what that is. Is that werewolves? 
let's see here. L Y C H N T H R O P E S Me Werewolves. Yes, I believe in werewolves. Man, poor vampires are the only ones I don't believe in. Do you have an addictive personality? What the fuck does that mean? What is an addictive personality? Well, let's look it up since I have my phone already in my hand. C-I-T-I-V-E. Personality meaning. It can be an excessive amount of time and resources spent engaging in an activity or expression that somehow affects the person's quality of life. Uh, no. I don't think so. Do you like to cook? Uh, sometimes. I don't do it a lot, but I mean, I don't hate it when I do do it. Would you say you're a confident person? Absolutely not. <laughs> do, do you think you're physically attractive? No, absolutely not. Do you think you can make a... Yes, I do, if I ever had the chance. Do you lie to people on a daily basis? I try not to. Do you suffer from anxiety? Yes. <laughs> Do you suffer from depression? Not in a while. I've actually been in a very, 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 very good fucking mood lately. Do you exercise daily? I do not. I go for walks, but I don't think that's what I mean. Do you stay hydrated? I do not. I was. There was. I got good at it because that was one of my goals for this year. I have since fallen off the wagon. So at this currently moment, no. All I drink is soda right now. Are you afraid of drowning? No, I kind of already done drowned. Just, just a little bit. I was horsing. Me and my brother were horsing around in the pool, and he wrapped my arms around my back, and we were in the deep part of the pool, and my kicks weren't strong enough, and I kind of, kind of drowned just the tiniest of bit. So, uh, no, I am not afraid of drowning. Are you afraid of a home invasion? Yes. I mean, who is it? I just, like, I'm afraid, not a pay from breaking in, but I'm afraid, like, they're gonna break in and, like, hurt the family, you know? If they're coming in to steal shit, whatever, I don't care. Have you ever broken a boat? No. I thought I did this one time when I was living in a trailer. And there were steps, you come out of the trailer and you were on this patio and there were steps going down. Well, it was when we had Molly and Angel. I don't know if you guys remember them. You, there's probably videos of them. There should be, they should be on there a little bit. Um, Anyways, so they were bigger dogs. They were like a shepherd mix and it was a boxer bulldog mix. Um, and I think I, we even had Taz at that point. So we had a Schnauzer as well. Yeah, I think it was the three of them. I, or was it just the two? Anyways, it was the bigger dogs at, at any rate. And so I went outside and someone down the street was letting their dogs just run freaking crazy, no leash or anything. And so my dogs yanked me off the porch down the steps I flew, didn't even touch them. Like I flew, I hit the ground, rolled. I thought I broke this arm. It hurt so freaking bad, I was so sick to my stomach. It wasn't broken, <laughs> but I thought I had broken it. But no, I've never broken a bone. If you, if a killer was in your house, would you run or fight? I mean, I would fight, so yes, I guess. If your house was on fire and you could safely get out, but in order to save your family and pets, you'd have to vault back in and sacrifice your life to save theirs, which do? Absolutely. No hesitation. If you contracted a fatal incurable disease that only gave you three years to live, would you like to try to pass it on to someone else? No. I would just live my best fucking life that I could. No, she, I made myself bleed. If you're being haunted by an evil spirit, would you consider to stay in the house? No. <laughs> I'm not fucking with that shit. <laughs> Uh, you could have the house, evil spirit. I will gladly go live somewhere else. If I told you that you were currently being haunted by an evil spirit, would you believe me? No, because there's no evidence of it. Is money one of your favorite things? Well, yeah, because I can buy shit. <laughs> Do you like a quiet, relaxing music? Yes, I also like metal music. Yes, I like both. Are you afraid of dolls? Depends. <laughs> yes, I, I hate dolls. My I had this box like that you would put like like the big containers like you put your like holiday shit in that you know you always see during Christmas that are you can get from like Walmart you know like those big boxes full of dolls small dogs small dolls big dolls glass dolls porcelain dolls <laughs> they don't go in my room but I can't I don't throw them out because I got them from aunts and uncles and grandparents 
but yes, I don't, mm, I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> Once been, twice shy, do you agree with this expression? No, because I don't know what that actually means. <laughs> do you believe in love at first sight? I do not. Do you believe in ideas of soulmates? Yes, I do. Have you ever had a one night stand? No, because I am, I haven't quite figured it out, but I feel like I'm on the ace spectrum. I don't really, like, I don't get the whole one night stand, like, fall in love, the first attraction. Like, I don't get that. I don't see someone, I go, oh man, they're beautiful. Like, I have to get to know you before I start to feel that, which is demisexual. So I think I'm more that. But, you know, no, I've never had a one night stand because I don't get that shit. Do you have a sweet tooth? It can, depending if there's sweets in the house. Do you enjoy a bit of drama chaos in life to keep things in? Yeah, as long as I'm not part of the drama, like if I'm watching it, yes. If I'm part of it, no, I don't enjoy that aspect. Do you like fire? I do. We have two fire pits in my yard and I enjoy both of them. <laughs> One of them is the, 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 the smoke list, which is very nice. That is very cool. If there's anything, is there anything in your life that you're passionate about? Yes, several things. Video games, books, pets, family, holiday stuff. I'm learning how to drive. Guys, I am learning how to drive. I don't think I told you guys this. I have started driving myself to work. I'm so fucking proud of myself. It took way too long, but I finally feel confident and comfortable. And y'all, I'm gonna get my driver's license. I'm fucking doing it. Probably not, it'll probably take me until next year to do it. But at the beginning of next year, I'm gonna have my driver's license. Fuck yes. Would you consider yourself to be a gentle person? Yes. Are you afraid of conflict? Not, I'm gonna say yes, but it's not that I'm afraid. I am uncomfortable with conflict. I don't, I don't like them. I will try to avoid them at all costs. If you have any of these questions, made you nervous? No. A after I did your sex test, none of your questions could make me nervous. Are you feeling relaxed at the moment? Yes. Do you think anyone hates you? Do you hate anyone in particular? I have people I dislike, but I, I wouldn't say that I hate any of them. Are you prone to holding grudges? No. I, oh, I, I, there's too much in the world for me to hold a frigging grudge against someone. Forget, but never forget. Do you agree with this statement? Eh, no. Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree? Yes. Do you like explosions? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do you enjoy the smell of burning firewood? I do indeed. Are you afraid of flying? No, I'm not. Are you afraid of driving? Not anymore. If you had asked me before I started my driver's license I, or before I started driving like a couple weeks ago, I would have said yes, but I'm not anymore. I'm actually very much enjoying it. Do you think that war between nation is healthy? No, it's not healthy in any way, shape or form. Yes, I consider myself to be open-minded. Do you ever dream of being chased? Yes, I do. Do you ever dream about hurting someone else? Yes, I do. Would you consider yourself to be a violent person? No, I don't. If I were to tell you that hell was coming for you, would you know what I meant? Yes, because I'm gay and I've been told that so many times in my life that <laughs> this point. Okay, so I think, I don't, don't remember if I told you guys this, but if I did, I'm sorry, it's gonna be an old story, um, but maybe not everyone heard it, but I went to Pride in October, cause that's when they do it. It's no longer just a June thing. Anyway, I went to Pride <laughs> with some friends this time, which made it super, super fun. I had a great, fucking time it was so good anyways we went there and there were protesters of course <laughs> and they were handing out these plasmids and my friend being a very gentle person took a flyers <laughs> he took the flyers um and i just started reading them. i just think it's so fucking funny but yes i i know what you mean if i answer if your answers to these questions could supernaturally predict your prudential fate would you believe it and use it as no no, I would not. It is rather unfortunate. Would you consider yourself to be an incred incredibly self-aware? Uh, I would like to think I am, yes. If I told you that mirrors were a gateway to another realm, would you believe me? I mean... Mm, My first instinct is to say yes. I don't know why, but yeah, sure. Can you feel something watching you right now? Uh, probably Zona, because she wants outside. 
I was correct. She is looking at me, so yes. <laughs> Can you hear the whispers yet? No, my voices are pretty quiet today. I do not. Actually, I do. I feel a bit warm, to be honest. Oh my gosh, the overexposure. Go, 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 fix it. Do you feel cold? No, I don't. All right, hold on. There it goes. Come on, camera. There you go. Thank you. Do you feel uneasy? No, I don't. Do you feel like something is coming? No, I don't. If something were coming, do you have a good idea of what it might be? Probably a jump scare. So, yes. Do you enjoy the taste of blood? No, I don't. Hi, baby girl. Would you rather bleed out than be set on fire? Uh, yes, I would rather bleed out. Would you help your best friend cover a murder they committed? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> do you think about death often? No, I don't. Do you think you'd survive if you had to fight off a pack of wolves barehanded? I would certainly give it my fucking best. Um, but probably not. I'm a baby girl. Would you stay overnight in a haunted house by yourself if someone dared you to do it? Yes. If someone were trying to kill you, do you think you could take their lives if you had to? Yes. If your mother turned into a zombie, do you think you'd have a waste to put her down? Yes. If there's a hell, do you think you're going there? No, despite how many people tell me otherwise. No, I don't think I'm going to hell. Have you ever attempted to contact spirits? No. Have you ever had a sudden urge to jump in front of a car? Nope. Can't say I have. Have you ever had a sudden urge to push someone in front of the car? No. If you were to witness a murder and the killer threatened you if you told anyone, would you go to the police? Yes. Have you ever seen a ghost or anything supernatural that you can't explain? Yes, actually I have. If you can come back as a ghost, would you choose? No, I would not. If you could make a deal with the devil in exchange for your soul, would you take the opportunity to make the deal? No, I would not. Hi, baby girl. How are you, sweetie butt? How are you, sweetie butt? If someone were... Did you go overexposed because of my white cat? <laughs> if you, if someone were hiding in your room right now and I told you exactly where they would, where'd you go check? No, I would not. Are you concerned that someone might be hiding in your room currently? No, I am not. Oh, look at her pretty face. Do you ever worry that someone might be living in your house without your knowledge? No, I do not. Are you afraid of leaving your foot? Yes, I am. And it also has to be covered. Like the rest of me, well, waist down, uh, feet have to be covered. Like knees down has to be covered. And I, I don't care how freaking hot it is, has to be covered. And I don't do no dangle bleeds. No. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. It's so freaking stupid. No, I've never had my foot be pulled while I was sleeping. Have you ever felt like you were falling only a sudden wave from sleep? Yes, I hate that. Do you realize that you might be incredibly fucked up? Yes, yes I do. Thank you for telling me though, game. I'm glad someone agrees with me. If you're crazy and you wouldn't know you're crazy, do you understand? Yes. I'm glad you get me. If you can read everyone's mind, what that would you allow yourself that power? No, I do not want to know what other people are thinking. If you could rob a game and what yes, I would totally rob a bank if I could get away with it. If you could turn invisible, would you spy on people? No, I would not. Honestly, I'd turn invisible and go into the freaking woods and just freaking chill and then see what animals would come up to my hiding spot. Like foxes and bears and mountain lions and bone caps. Are you afraid of death? Nope. Does the thought that there might be nothing after life bother you? No, not really. Does the thought that there might be an afterlife bother you? No, not really. <laughs> Are you afraid of being abandoned? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> Are you afraid of dying alone? No, not really. <laughs> Are you afraid of being lied to? I, no, not really. Do you think the other would betray you? No, not really. <laughs> Do you have a hard time trusting people? Yes. Do you feel alone in a crowd? You already asked me this. Do you feel like you understand others fairly well, but others have a difficult time understanding you? Yes. <laughs> Do you feel slightly more comfortable at this point? I mean, I was already comfortable before, but sure, I am at 110%. Do you feel safe? Yes. Do you feel like you could easily be fooled by loved ones? Yes. <laughs> Do you enjoy being dominated? Why the fuck not? <laughs> Do you enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> Why this with the next questions? You already did this. <laughs> um, if you could live like royalty, would you? 
No. I mean... <sighs> no. If you could travel anywhere in the world once, instantly, for beauty, but you may never return to that place, place uh, yes. If I could go to one place for free, but I, I could never return to it, I would still take that opportunity. Do you believe in time travel? No, I don't. Do you think the Elkin, El, Elkins, the Elkins, <laughs> do you think the aliens could potentially be humans from the future, just traveling back in time for various reasons? Oh, that's an interesting theory. Um. Oh. Man. Would you do that? That would be such an interesting concept. If you're humans from the future and you're traveling back in time and infiltrate us to rewrite history. No. <laughs> it's, an, it's an interesting thought, but no. Would you choose to sleep inside of a coffin? Sure. Why not? If you had to chop off one of your hands or feet to escape from a killer, would you do it? I mean, if I have something to chop off my hands and feet, why can't I just kill the killer? No, I would kill the killer. <laughs> Does the slight of bug make you feel queasy? No. If you know a doll was haunted, would you buy it? <laughs> no! <laughs> would you consider yourself to be superstitious? No, not really. Oh, just a little suspicious? Yes, I'm just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. That reference was worth it. <laughs> Does the thought of being put in a straight jacket? Yes, I know. No, I don't want that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, makes me uncomfortable. Don't like it. Um, would you ever just walk through a graveyard just for fun? No, I have no business being there if I don't have someone there. Would you try human flesh to see what it tastes like? Not unless I had to. Do you believe in voodoo? I mean, I believe in magic, so I, is that insulting? I feel like I just insulted that, but if I told you that there was a voodoo doll that looks just like you hanging a tree somewhere near your house, would it make you feel uncomfortable? No, because I know there's no such thing as a, a me as a doll hanging in one of my trees. No, I don't, which is my mom does. My mom's supposed to fly back on Friday 13th, and she said, nope. And she's like, I'll come back home on Sunday, Saturday. <laughs> Do you ever worry that you're being followed? No. Are you afraid of sharks? No. Humans are more dangerous than any other. Do you agree? Absolutely. Would you consider yourself to be a dangerous person? No, I would not. Would you rather choose the death penalty over living the rest of your life in a cell? Yes, I would. If I told you that there were seven secret messages hidden throughout the last hundred or so questions, would you believe me? Probably. Do you believe you might endanger from, from supernatural forces? No. Would you consider yourself to be mentally stable? Not at well. <laughs> at a, as a joke, no. But no, I'm right now. I'm pretty stable. <laughs> Would you trust your best friend to be alone with your lover? Yeah. Would you trust yourself to be alone with your best friend's lover? Yeah. If you could leave this life behind and live one of your wildest dreams, never return to this current timeline again. Would you do it? As long as my family's with me, why the hell not? Do you have a specific goal in life that you're determined to achieve? Yes. Would you say that you sometimes like motivation? Yes. <laughs> if someone attacked you, would you attack them back? In self-defense, yeah. Are you sure that you're, the life you're living is real and not just a fragment of imagination? Shem Curry? No, I am not. It's, it could absolutely be that. If you woke up right now and realized that everything you, you knew of this life was a dream and your actual life and everyone in it was entirely different, would you be a bit disappointed with that outcome? Probably, yeah. If you could win the lottery but only have seven years to leave, would you take the money? Yes. Now, for the final and most important question. I want you to really think about this one and answer constantly. Take your time and do not answer quickly. Really think about it. Are you happy? At the current moment, I am absolutely positively happy. That's very interesting. I'm going to turn yourselves into the fear machine and let it decide whether or not it wants to reveal your potential fate. I will take I will be taking my leave now, but it is nice getting to know you immediately, intimately. See you soon. Hopefully not too soon. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skip questions, you can skip questions. Answer honestly or dishonestly. Taking a load of time to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly. I've been able to tell. 
calculating your results. I'm analyzing them carefully. I thought this was going to be more scary, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I, th I guess because I just thought this was like a more spookier test. Like maybe there's going to be like some jump scares and stuff. But based on what you told me, let me tell you what I see. I see something, something hiding. I see you. I see you in a bathroom. You're in your own little world, completely oblivious to your surroundings. There's someone hiding nearby. You don't know that they're in your home. They've been hiding for a while, perhaps even hours completely unnoticed. They're listening to you, watching you, stalking you. They've seen you in the kitchen. They've seen you in your home. Room, I mean. You don't know that they're there. But they could have sworn you heard something. You're by yourself tonight. At least you're supposed to be. My dog would be frigging going off on your ass. Once you're in the bathroom, they strike! They catch you completely off guard! <laughs> I see blood! So much blood! <laughs> puddles and puddles of crimson. Warm, flowing crimson. Don't so many cuts. So many cuts. Snips as if servered with snivers. Pierced of flesh removed from bone. Trophies, materials for there's still hope, though! There's a way to safe, but it's entirely up to you. Keep the door locked. All the doors. They'll try to enter their home three times. After three failed attempts, they will move on to someone else. They're very silent, very patient. They're opportunists, and they will wait for the right time. They'll sneak in as soon as you turn away from the locked door. <laughs> They will also try entering through the windows. Good luck with this one. My, my dad's gonna be in front of these two windows. Good luck getting through all my shit. They already managed to get in. The search authority checking all closets. They love closets. My closet just has a sheet on it, so I'm pretty fucked if I'm in there. The third day of the week, the hour of 11. This is all I can see. Good luck. The secret word is intruder. Remember this word, it'll come in handy. I've never had those words come in handy. And apparently, I'm gonna be broken into. Oh, Luna! You're on my fucking keyboard. <sighs> okay. I don't know what that said about the words. I don't remember. I think you're supposed to leave them in a comment and something happens. I've never done that, so. Um, I know you. You. Uh, but the nut. Uh, thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I'm overexposed. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't, it'll make some time. Trust me on that. Yay! I don't know what you're supposed to do with the secret words, but I, I'm an intruder. I hope you got. I hope you like this. I thought it was gonna be more spooky. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've done their other titles. Um, it's fun. I, I just, I don't know. I like these games. I think they're super fun. Um, and you know, if you want, let's see, uninstall this one. You can go watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you go watch. Hold on, give me, give me one friggin' second. One second, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't look away, hey, right here, right here. Pay attention, I see you, I see you trying to click off. No, just come here, come here. Pay attention, in a little bit. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something and you are gonna be, you're gonna listen. Fuck, did I just name it the test? Oh, yes, 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 this is a test. Hold on, don't go anywhere. Come here, come here, sit, sit, five seconds. Five seconds, that's all I need from you. Sit your butt down, okay, it's, 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 it's. But, Turtle Kink, The Confession, that's the channel, or that's the video I was trying to get you to. It took me way too long, but nice to know that this playlist doesn't work. I'm gonna have to fix that because there's four of these tests that I've done before, all by the same people. This one is number five. If you like this, I think uh, the other ones were longer. I did like way more in-depth answering and why I chose that answer instead of just flying by like I did this time. But if you like this one and you want to learn <laughs> why this is a thing, it's, it's all about kinks. You want to learn about my kinks? This is the video that you go towards. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.